Hey everyone, today's video is about how to use Play-Doh to work on your speech and language goals at home. So to start off, I want to talk to you about what I do when I'm working on Play-Doh with your kids. So first things first, I always make sure that I am in control of the Play-Doh by holding on to the Play-Doh cup with all the Play-Doh in it. I have everyone practice making requests by um, just asking me for pieces of Play-Doh and I just give out a little bit at a time, which makes sure that we have tons of opportunities to practice requesting. Sometimes you might need to give a model by saying something like Play-Doh please, or I want Play-Doh, um, anything or even a point, anything that is a form of a request. And then again, just give little pieces so you get lots of opportunities to practice. Also, I like to have the kids help me open up the Play-Doh because it gives a good opportunity to practice asking for help. A lot of times this top is hard to get off. Um, so once I give it to them, I might say, oh, do you need help? You can say, help me, and then give them the help. Once they ask, then you hold on to the cup. Once we get going with the Play-Doh, there's really tons of different ways you can work on different goals. You can uh, talk about the actions that you're doing while you make the Play-Doh into different shapes. So for example, you might be rolling or stretching or pulling. Talk about all of those different actions. You can also compare sizes. Make a big ball and a small ball. Compare the ones that are big and small and identify them. Make strips that are long and short or compare that and skinny, or even talk about smooth and bumpy to talk about those concepts. If you're working on articulation, grab your word list and do a little articulation smash after you practice each word. Um, take turns making a tower. So you stack a piece, then your child stacks a piece, then you stack a piece, then your child to work on that turn taking. There are so many different ways to play with Play-Doh, and if you add in different props like little toy figurines, um, cookie cutters, or a rolling pin, anything that you add to it uh, adds so many more ways that you can talk about uh, what you're doing and talk about things that you're creating. It adds so many language opportunities. So when you are done, make sure that your child helps you clean everything up, then make sure you wash your hands and put that Play-Doh away. Okay, everybody, have a great week.